So the moment you launch the, my, sorry, your Power BI desktop gets launched, you'll find this welcome screen. You need to click on the cross. Okay, we don't need this welcome screen. Simply click on cross. That's it. <clears throat> here, as I discussed, what you are seeing here is the, and uh, you are in a video mode. If you are in a video mode, not a problem. Okay, so this is what your report canvas. Okay. And one second, I'll show you. This is what your report canvas, right? So this is where you can create all the reports. This is what I discussed. So for example, on the you know right side of this one, you can see something like visualizations. Visualizations, this visualization. Just beneath this visualization, you can see all kind of charts. <clears throat> so this is my um, bar chart. Uh, this is my column chart. And we have something called stacked uh, bar chart, stacked column chart, and clustered column chart. Don't worry, we'll discuss about all these type of charts individually in the later point of the session. Uh, okay, or later point of this training program. Okay, so I just show you for the sake of your understanding. When I click on clustered column chart, I just clicked on it. So automatically, a blank chart gets dragged towards your right so left side because this is my report canvas you can create likewise right you can create um, more than one visual charts for example i want to have a donut chart i just clicked on it and i know it is there so these are the charts okay just to uh, you know at a high level to understand this is when you click on this, it will take you to the report canvas. But um, the moment when you launch the Power BI desktop, by default, you know the report canvas is the one is visible. Okay, so but then why should I click on this one? Supposing I'm going to click on this icon called data. When I click on this icon data, so I am into different viewing mode. So this is called your my model view. Here I can see the data model view supposing i want to go back to my report canvas view so in that case if you click on this one it will take you to the report canvas view so this is your data model pivot this is called your power pivot <clears throat> i'll just because this is very important i'm going to repeat it again so i so this is my report canvas And the next one is going to be my power pivot. Okay, this is where we do data modeling. Don't worry. So what is data modeling? All the things I know uh, most of you do not having uh, the programming background. I will explain it later. This is where we need to do the data model. You, at this moment, you just think this is like uh, building uh, when you build a house, you need to have a data model, sorry, not data model, the blueprint should be in place. This is similar to your blueprint. Okay, the data model is blueprint. So the report canvas, this is we, this is where we create the charts, everything. So now the question is to create a report, we need to have a real, we need to have a data. Do we have the data with us or not? Yes, I have the data with me. Okay, the data, whatever I have, is sufficient enough to build a report or dashboard? Next a question which comes to our man, mind is, okay, data was given by my manager, but how good the data, whether the data is really useful or whether the given data is uh, error-free, bug-free. The, the, the given data has a lot of problems in it. Like you have some missing, a lot of missing values you have um, duplicate records. If you find these kind of things, your uh, data is not readily usable. You need to data cleaning. So that is when we have another component called Power Query Editor. Please concentrate here. Power Query Editor. Okay. So report canvas, Power Query Editor, Power Pivot. So what is Power Query Editor? So where can I see that? You cannot see it here. So this is called my home ribbon, right? So by default, we are in home ribbon. You will find something called transform data. 
this ribbon okay this menu when you click on this you will find transform data okay when you click on transform data it will take you to another component that is called your power query editor i call the power query editor as a kitchen in the kitchen we do all kind of cleaning let's say you bought a fish fresh uh, fish from the market you need to cut the fish in your kitchen and then you do uh, cleaning and then you mix all the necessary ingredients with the cut fish right so in the kitchen you do everything what you do cleaning data so similarly in the case of uh, transform data when i click on it it will open power query editor <clears throat> the power query editor we do all kind of pitch and job so like cleaning all the things we do it here <clears throat> you have a lot of options here when you click on transform ribbon one second okay, when you click on the transform ribbon so you will find all these things here okay you have something like detect data type transpose reverse rows count rows group by all these statistics everything you can see it here you can do all kind of data cleaning data transformation everything you can do it here with the help of power query editor so report canvas is useful to create the report okay data is available so now we need to clean the data using power query editor once the data is clean then we will use the data to do data modeling and then we create the reports first step is load the data into power bi desktop i'll just show you here how do i load the data in power bi desktop <clears throat> please watch here <clears throat> i just made the pause recording so three components so the one is the report canvas the second one is power query editor the third one is power pivot using report canvas we can create the reports using power query editor we can clean the data using power pivot we do the data modeling that we will see it later point in time okay, i'm going to clean up the screen so now i am going to click on the get data and if possible you can also try it side by side with me don't postpone it i will do it later later if you are a really smart person you have to do it along with me see power bi you, you believe me or not the 10th standard cbsc students they were doing it along with me fat 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 they just say satya just sir give me a second give me a second they'll finish it up everything sales underscore w0 watch my screen fat 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 do it i'll just share this link see all these files are available in my website you can download it this is the file okay so what you do is control f uh, sales underscore w04.csv if you use control f and if you search it it will take you or simply you scroll down at the bottom see i'll share this link the chat window that's the reason why i requested you all to join from your laptop this zoom meeting so that you can simply click on it in your laptop it is available <clears throat> type this url typing speed should also be faster okay you know make it fast see if, even if you get into a job the earlier you finish your work you can go back home right you can avoid traffic jam everything so look here github.com fantasy 200k and power iphone bi i am just slowing down because couple of people are completely new and software and they do not know programming they do not know how to use laptop look here i just shared the link one more time same link click on it it will take you to this browser and if you scroll down from the bottom you can see the third uh, you know file last but three the sales w0cc or else simply what you do is no more confusion you just go to my github site here you will find all the data set click on the code are you all doing it triveni click on the code and if you come down here you will find downloads it triveni and others okay and uh, i just show you one more time so you click on the the down arrow is there right the drop down uh, just next to code you click on it you will find download zip click on download it will get downloaded it will take some time today's session i will be very very slow again and from from tomorrow onwards i am going to increase the speed little bit 
because we are already falling far behind the schedule. All right, so the file got downloaded. The file name is Power BI main zip, okay? So when you right click on it, how do I go to this file, downloaded file, right? Just keep the cursor on top of it, on top of it, right click on it, you will find show in folder. Got it? Show in folder. And how many of you are doing it side by side with me? Copy it, look here, copy it and go to D drive, <clears throat> create some folder like data. <clears throat> And if you don't have D drive, no problem. You can use uh, your C drive itself. Create a folder by the name of <clears throat> data set, something like that. Control V, that's the file, whatever I downloaded from this website is now available here. If I right click on it and extract here, <clears throat> All the files got extracted. Look here, all these files. And if you just you know select any one of the file here, and if you type sales, look here, sales w04.cc file is available now. So now what I do is I just go to my Power BI desktop, click on the get data, and then CSC file. It is a CSC file. What is the CSC file? So I'm going to load the data. See, uh, data is coming nowadays uh, in different uh, types, data, okay? So different types of data are coming. The source systems are different. Sometimes your manager will give you the data in Excel file. Sometimes they'll give you the data in text file. Sometimes they give you the file data in CSV file. CSV stands for comma separated value file. And in some cases, the data are available in data where so it is a cloud. Uh, Microsoft Cloud. It is not available locally. You need to connect to the cloud. From there, you need to download it. And then you have something else called SQL Server. So SQL Server, we have installed it uh, in the last session, right? So all of you must have installed SQL Server. Some cases, what will happen is the data is partially available in SQL Server and partially the data is available in CSV file, comma separated value file or Excel file. So you need to ask uh, the application owner or the business user about the data files location. If they say, for example, in my case, the data is available in the form of CSV file. So we can click on this icon to load either uh, the text file or the CSV file. I just clicked on it. So in my case, I just go to the recently downloaded Power BI Mm, what is the folder name? Power BI, Power iPhone BI. Sorry, Power. See, Power. Um, one second, one second. Or simply, I just type the folder name Power. Okay, it is in data sets, right? Sorry, it is in data sets. The folder name is data sets. Click on the data sets. Inside the data sets only, the Power BI main is there. And here I have sales.csv file is available. Sales W4, sales underscore W04.csv file is available here. How many of you have done so far along with me? Okay. Click on open. <clears throat> Click on open. Right. So when you click on open, what happens is I just redo it one more time. The data. CSC because the file extension. What is the file extension name here? Sales dot csv. It is not dot xls file. It is dot csv file. My manager wants me to take this data and do analytics on this 
data. So sales underscore W04 dot CSV, Microsoft Excel comma separated values file. That's what you can see, right? So when you click on open, the Power BI desktop will create a connection with this file and it shows the data preview window here. This is called your data preview window. Before loading the data into your Power BI desktop, it will show you what are the data and columns that are available as part of the sales underscore W04.csv file. So, and then I have three options here. The one is load and the other one is transform data. The next one is cancel. I'm going to click on load now because I need to load this data inside my Power BI desktop or I want to load this data into Power BI desktop. See, currently the data is available here, right? Windows operating system, but I wanted to load this entire file data into my Power BI desktop memory. Twenty-five thousand rows got loaded into my Power BI desktop. So now the data got loaded. How do I make sure that the data got loaded? On the right side, you will find. Uh, something called field pane. You will find something else, something called field pane. Let me do it like that. So look here on the right side, you will find some of the field pane. Just beneath this field pane, you can see the file name, sales underscore W04. What is this file, um, Triveni? What is this file is all about? What is this file? This file is nothing but my comma separated value file. So sales underscore W04 dot CSV. What, what is CSV stands for? Comma separated values. What do you mean by comma separate values? When you open this file, you'll find each and every column gets separated by comma. That's why it is called as comma separate. Sometimes they give you the data uh, file with this type, so dot CSV, dot XLS. Okay. Now in this case, comma separate values, I loaded the file inside my Power BI desktop. After it gets loaded, you will find the this file name here. Okay, here, in the extreme right. Okay, I'm um, in the extreme right. Okay, now the question is, is how do I see the columns that belong to this data file? When you click on this right arrow, you'll find all the columns that are part of this data file. You can find it here. Okay, I can see the data file here uh, and then the corresponding columns. I can see it here, but where can I see the data? That is when you need to click on this one, data icon on the left side. When you click on this data icon, you will find all the data that belong to sales underscore W04 here. You got it. So this is the file, right? So now the it will take some time when you click on this. So now we are in data view. In the data view, when you click on this file, you can see the it will take some time to populate the data. Initially, it will be blank. Don't panic. You need to wait. If you wait for a few minutes or seconds, you will find the data gets populated here. Look here. And you see here at the bottom, you can see the uh, scroll bar, when you scroll it towards your right side, you can see all the columns. All the columns and the data, everything you can see it here. This is how you can load the 
dot csv file okay i just click on now i want to go to the report canvas how do i go to report canvas click on this report icon now we are in report canvas so here on the right side you can see the file name and the column name if you just want to see the file name and column name you can uh, you know view it in the report sorry in the report view itself right this is our report canvas on the right side of the report canvas itself you can see all the columns that belong to this file but you need to notice one thing very clearly here the file was dot csv file but what is this icon this icon is nothing but a table icon a table icon in rtbms or database we use a term called table it is a table icon irrespective of the type of the file whether it is excel file or json file or xml file or dot csv file once you load the data into your power bi desktop power bi desktop will consider them as a table so this is a table right so it is not considering this as a file it is considered as a table okay let it be there i am done with this okay the next one is i just uh, go to my uh, report uh, view and here if you want to see the data type of any specific column for example if i click on the sales column if you click on the sales column on top of it here you can see the data type look here the data type for the sales is text it is actually wrong sales is a number data type isn't it it is not a text value so product name is a text okay we can agree that category sub all these are text but sales is a number data type but somewhere some problem happened we could see this column has been assigned with text data type we need to fix this issue there are some issue with the data here we need to find out what issue why power bi desktop assigned text data type to the column sales all right next we will explore the quantity column when i click on the quantity column so quantity is a whole number let it be there and discount is a when i clicked on discount i could see a decimal number very good when i click on profit i can see the data type the column name is profit decimal number very good profit cannot be whole number discount is also a decimal number shipping cost everything else is good except the sales column and the order date when i click on it see it is it can it assign the text data type to order date similarly for ship date also it assign the data type as text which is actually wrong the date column should get assigned with date data type and also the number data type column should assign with number data type but whereas for the date data type and the number data type assign the text data type so now what do we do how do we fix this issue so now we have the data having data alone is not sufficient we need to have the data should be in the proper format and we should fix any data related issues so any data cleaning any processing right what we do is we go to the transform data click on home ribbon transform data so what is transform data three many this is where we do all kind of data cleaning i told you uh, we are going you know it's, i related this with kitchen power query editor right when you click on the transform data so how do i go to transform data initially it will be something like this so in this page click on home ribbon and then in this you will find transform data click on transform data it will take you to your power query editor look here this is my power query editor and if i move this on the right side we will go to the sales column yes sales column is available here and we have something else called uh, go to column so in the view ribbon supposing you have uh, 100 columns are there so you need to uh, find you know instead of keep scrolling and finding out where the column is there click on go to column and then here you just type sales look here the sales column if you click on this one it will take you directly to the sales column so we are in sales column and if you notice one thing very clearly here this is the product dot name column name this is column name in this case is quantity so in this cell the column name is discount along with each column name 
right? You will find the something like A, B, C, one, two, three. Just before the uh, before each column name, you will find some, this is nothing but data type. The sales column got assigned with text data type, which is actually wrong. And whereas in the case of quantity, it got assigned as a whole number. This is actually correct. One, two, three is whole number. One point two, which means this is a decimal number. Okay, along with the column name, you can find the data type in the form of uh, some kind of icon here. You can find out. So now the question is, the sales column should get converted as a number data type. How can you do that? First of all, why the sales column got assigned with text data type by Power, Power BI? The reason is, look here, the first value in this column itself, we can see that this value 2309 got prefixed with dollar. Just because only one value in this column sales got prefixed with dollar, entire column value got assigned with text data type. So now, how do I convert as a number data? So look here, if you click on this icon, you'll find all the data type. And if you click on the sales is a decimal number, it, it is not a whole number, right? When I click on decimal number, what happens? Replace current. The first record, first value got, uh, you know, the rest of the values got converted as a, a decimal number, but uh, you know, this first value got converted as a, uh, this one. Uh, error, right? Some something wrong here. So what I want to do is, hey, I made a mistake converting the data type of the sales from text to decimal number up front. I made a mistake. What can I do? In the Word document and Power BI, we have control is it to undo the changes, right? For but here in Power Query Editor, the control is it is not available. Instead you will find the steps. What are the steps that are carried out so far, right? You can, it will get registered here. So you have changed the type. This is the action I took it. I changed the text data type into the decimal data type. So that is what it shows. So if I click on the cross here, it will undo the change what I made it. So it will go back to my original state. Okay, so now it got converted back to the original state. Fine. So how do I, if I remove the dollar here, uh, my problem is solved, right? If I remove the dollar or comma, dollar, if I remove, that is more than sufficient. And then if I convert the decimal number, it will get converted perfectly. Since I have a dollar value prefixed uh, in front of this numeric value, when I try to convert the decimal number of friend, it converted this one with error. It get confused. Okay, so now what we do is, I just keep the cursor in the middle here, not here, in the middle here, right click on it. I will find something that will In the Excel, have you do same thing here, right? So here, replace values, I clicked it. So here, I want to replace the dollar by what? Nothing, okay? Empty string kind of thing. So look here, the dollar went off. The dollar went off. Now, if I click on the AB icon, click on decimal number, it will get converted as a, so look here, now we did not get any error, but here we can see some kind of error. Why are we getting this error? I just undo the changes, whatever I did it so far. Uh, let it be there. But if you see here, you have something called NEA. NEA stands for not available. And yes, that means uh, in this column for these products, we don't see any value here. Blank values were there. Hence, Power BI assigned NA to it. If it finds any blank values in your column, it will assign it with NA. So now what I do is I right click on it, replace values, all the NA by zero. In Excel, we do the same thing. The same thing we do, right? It won't replace the values, you do it this way. Even in Notepad, we do it, right? So replace all the NA by zero here. Now I don't see NA and everything is good. And still I can see empty one percentage. Um, less than one percentage. 
remove empty there are some empty records are there so let it be there okay so i don't have any issues now what are the things that i carried out what steps i did it i removed the dollar and then what i did i replaced the na by zero that's all here next one is click on this one click on decimal number so now i don't see any error i don't see any a dollar sign nothing now you see 1.2 the sales column got converted successfully with decimal data type now you can do any arithmetic operation for example if you want to multiply sales by 2 it will get multiplied can you multiply abc by 2 you cannot do right text into 2 it will throw an error it is illogical right similarly uh, what we did we did some kind of work around to convert the sales column from text data type to decimal data type it is not straight forward so what we do we just that's where we need to explore the data why this column got assigned with text data type simple common sense we we we, we were, luckily we could see that the first row itself in this column uh, this value got prefixed with dollar now if i remove the dollar we were left with only the numeric value but still uh, just because if i remove the dollar it will not get converted automatically uh, from text to number data type right so but only thing is it will remove the dollar but still it will remain as a text data type next step is we need to go and check okay in my data set i have missing values na i replace the na by 0 and then i just clicked here and when i selected the decimal number it got converted successfully the decimal number data type so now if i do any arithmetic operation if i multiply this column by 2 or if i divide this column by 10 or 20 it will work okay next what other issues we found let me see how many of you are concentrating here see first take this off from your mind you know it's very complex one remove that you should challenge me saying that this bullshit is nothing i can understand okay you develop that mindset only then you can learn many things so what is this column it's order date what is this data type all of you please type it in the chat window what data type is this order date very good text data type very good diyani how about others like diviani everyone uh, triveni why don't you volunteer all of you please volunteer here see it's no i'm not a professor i'm not a 60 year old 40 year old guy okay so i'm not a professor you know we are all professionals okay and diyani diksha also mentioned text data type how about others all of you please see order date is what data type is this abc is what data type what data i told you right what data type how about saumya saumya and um, others they typed it correctly right text data type this is a text data type order date got considered as a text data type actually if you click on this you can find all the data type these are the data types that are available as part of your power query data that's all the list is very less if you see microsoft sql server many data types are there so one is here very simple okay decimal number fixed decimal whole number percentage date type date time if you want the column to be considered time day time data type click on this if you want the column to be converted as a date data type you need to click on date but order date supposed to be date data type but unfortunately power bi assign the text data type okay text data type so how do i address this one can i click on this and can i click on date it will get converted as a date isn't it but the problem is we cannot directly click on date here it will throw some error before we convert it as a date data type we need to do some kind of ground work what kind of ground work look here when you look at this data here it's all in month date year format good so month date year in the middle we see 28 year that means this is a date right so month date year very good so most of them are almost all the data are in the month date 
year format. This is US date format. In US, they specify month first and then date next and then year. Month date year is year United States format, date format. The challenge here is the first value in this column, right? If you see here, the date, sorry, month followed by the forward slash and then the month and then followed by forward slash is there and then 2012 is there. Sorry, this is your um, yeah, forward slash, okay? And, but when you see here the second value, the values were not consistent. The format, they are using iPhone here to separate month date year, they used iPhone, whereas here to separate the month date year, they used the forward slash. If I blindly go and click on date, it will get confused. Either I should consistently convert all these values into proper format. Either all the values should uh, you know, uh, get separated uh, by backward slash or all the values should get separated by iPhone. So how do I do? So I, what I do is I want to replace all the iPhone by forward slash. So just keep the cursor here. Just move the cursor, right click on it. Replace values. What am I going to do here? Can you all type it in the chat? And what am I going to do now? I'm going to say iPhone by this slash. Okay. So here the iPhone, right? iPhone, I'm going to replace it with slash. See, that's what I mentioned. Find out iPhone and replace the iPhone by forward slash. Click on OK. Look here. All the values got formatted correctly, right? Consistently, consistent format. Here, no iPhone. We don't have a mix of iPhone and forward slash. Now, all the values in the order date column got converted with the proper format. We are using forward slash to separate month, date, year. How far it is clear? All of you type it in the chat window, except Nilesh, and uh, Divyan, Divyan, others, please type it in the chat window because you don't have any you know, programming background. Are you able to understand what I did? This is what we do it in Excel also. Say yes or no. Say yes or no. Type it in the chat window. Uh, Diksha, how about um, um, Soumya? Oh, very good. How about others? Sri Lata, Triveni. Sri Lata and Triveni, are you able to follow me or not? If you are still not able to follow, so what I would suggest, right? You can watch my today's video without fail. You need to practice it, okay? And uh, anyhow, still we will see. I'll assess how best you are, how fast you are able to grasp it, and then we will increase the speed. But try to, you know, put. Uh, see, when it comes to software, you have every day have to practice it. Even if I don't practice it, practice it one week, I'll forget everything. Okay, so the, that's what in this uh, you know software industry you need to keep in mind. Okay, now everything got converted, but still it remains as a text data type. What should I do? I need to click on it, ABC icon, and I can see date here. I can click on date, but there is an exception. Don't try this one. Instead, you need to click on using locale, using locale. It will take some time. You need to have patience and the data type. You need to select the date. Got it? Very simple one. But here, English India, it is not India data type, India format, right? Month, date, year is not India format. It is United States. You need to scroll down and see English United States. Select this one. Click on OK. And if you see the icon, it got converted to calendar icon. So now we are able to successfully convert the text data type of your order date into calendar or date data type. Very good. Why should I uh, care about uh, converting the text data to date data type in the case of order date? Because later point in time, if you wanted to perform any date related manipulations, pretty simple. 
For example, I wanted to extract only the year from this column and store it in a separate column. How do I do that? In order to do that, your column order date should be a date data type. That is the prerequisite. For example, if you want to join in a college uh, for computer science, 12th standard, you should have studied computer science. That is the prerequisite. Same way, if you want to extract year alone, month alone, date alone from this column, this column is supposed to be a date data type. Okay. Okay, now let us see how we can extract only the year from this column. So what I am going to do is I just right click on it, click on duplicate column. I simply duplicate these values, same column. So look here, order date copy. Whatever was there in the order date, the same thing got copied. Okay, order date. Okay, the same thing I copied here. That's all. Now what I do is in this column, I just go to my home ribbon. In the home ribbon, you will find something called date. Uh, here, uh, not this one, sorry. Uh, transform, in the transform, yeah, in the transform ribbon, you need to click on transform. Look here, by default, it was here. I need to click on transform ribbon. In the transform ribbon on the right side, you'll find date. And here, you'll find year. Click on year. Look here. It was able to successfully extract only the year from my order date column. So now I just double click on here, double click on it, and I'm going to rename the column as year. Look here, it got converted as year successfully, but still the order date column is there. Okay, if I want to move this to the left side, select this column, simply you can move this one. Just like playing game, you do it here. It's very interesting, right? You keep hold it like this. And uh, just for our verification sake, I'm going to keep this next to my order date. Yeah, I just keep it here. Okay, I made a mistake. Oh, I did not. Where, where did I drop it? I dropped it somewhere here. Here, here, yeah, correct one, right? So just prior to this, uh, yeah, after order date, or you can move this one to the left side. So after the order date, I can see the year. Look here 2012, 2012, 2013, 2013, 2011, 2012, right? So only year alone, if I wanted to extract from this column to year, it is possible. So after I extracted, I could see that good. So it, it one, two, three. What is one, two, three? It's a whole number. Here is a whole number, right? Fine. Similarly, I can extract month and store it in a separate column. And date also, if you want to store it in a separate thing, I can do it. And I will show you one more example. For example, uh, duplicate column. One more time, I'm going to duplicate this. So I, in the transform ribbon, I just go to the date. And here, what I do is the day, name of day. So what day is it? Tuesday or Wednesday, right? So I just move this on the left side. And then, in a second, let me just do it one more time. I want this to be next to my order date. See how powerful. You don't have to write any program or you don't have to use any function right simply you can point and click to get your day for the corresponding or if for any specific uh, date what is the corresponding day you can find out with this So on, see, look here, 31, 7, 2012, you specify any year, any month, any date, it will give you correctly the day, okay, in, in text format, okay. Um, so this, this day was a Tuesday and this day was Monday. Otherwise, you'll have to go to calendar, you need to, you know, scroll back to the calendar to find out which day. So pretty simple, in, just by selecting this, you are able to, now I'm going to 
double click on this. I want to rename this column day. Look here, day. Now the question is, why should I extract year separately from this column? Why should I extract day separately from this column? Supposing you want to see Monday to Monday through Sunday, what's the sales? The x-axis you want to plot Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the y-axis you want to see the sales and weekly sales if you want to see it. And if you have the data uh, stored, this will be pretty simple, right? Or suppose you want to see 2011, 12, 13, 14, four years sales performance. If you store it like this, you can plot this in x-axis so that 2011, 12, 13, 14, uh, you can plot in x-axis and y-axis, you can find the corresponding sales, right? So in that kind of, sense. and you can also extract quarter separately, quarter on quarter sales performance, if you want to see it, the banking and uh, other marketing, they do a uh, sales department, they more frequently do this analysis, year on year sales growth, and uh, quarter on quarter sales growth. And again, you need to go to transform button and uh, order date and duplicate column. And here, what I do is select date and quarter, quarter of the year, start of quarter, end of quarter. And see a lot of options are available here. I just double click on it. I rename it as a quarter. That's all, I'm done all these things. So I, what I did, I did the data type change for sales column. And then I changed the data type of my order date column, but it was not straightforward. I need, I did some kind of groundwork. And then only I was able to convert this as a date data type. And similarly, the sales column also the same thing, right? And then what all the things so far I did it, got recorded on this side. Look here, that is the beauty of Power Query Editor. So this first, forget about the source and promote editors. The moment when you load the data, it does all these things automatically. I just show you here. So when you click on the source here, when I click on the source here, I press some other key. Okay. When I click on the source here, look here. Yeah. When I click on the source here, look here. So you know the the which folder this file is there. It shows right from which file folder this file be loaded into Power BI Desktop. Now the question is, what is this thing? File dot content CSV document. These are all called M language. So these are called your These are this this are called your M language. You don't have to do anything. Behind the scene, Power BI Desktop or the Power Query Editor generates the scripts on your behalf. Okay, the CSV dot document, file dot contents, all these things, right? Was you know the script? These are called your M language. You don't have to write any script, simply load the data and open the Power Query. You will find something like this. Okay, this is the default action done by this. Promote editor also, it is done automatically. You don't have to do anything. The next one is replace value. And replace value, what we did here, we jumped, we just simply clicked on the sales column. I just right clicked on it. And then what I did, I just uh, removed this dollar in front of this column, right? And then how I removed? Replace values. Replace value dollar, comma, right? I did this already. What I did, I can see it here. Look here, I replaced the dollar by empty string. And then if you click on it, see if somebody is asking what all the changes you made, it, can you show me? You have the record, all the transactions, all the 
steps that you carried out on your data got recorded here. It's like a CCTV. Okay, NEA, we replace the NEA by zero. Okay, and then what we did? We changed the data type to uh, the decimal uh, number, number data type, right? Sales column, I changed the number data type. Replaced value one, table dot transform column types. This is my M language. I just pointed the column, right click it, replace values, I clicked it, that's all. Just by pointing and clicking it, we are able to make the changes. But behind the scene, on our behalf, the M language got generated by Power Query Editor. So that according to us, we just do point and click. But for the Power BI desktop to understand what we did, the Power Query Editor generates some M language. And if I click on this one, it will show me Oh, you know what changes look here i replaced all the iphone by forward slash in the date column order date column in which column what change we did it everything step by step what are the steps that we carried out the same sequence it registered that one here so duplicated column rename column. so many steps that i this many number of steps that i carried out similarly for ship date you need to extract uh, for you, the assignment is same thing. You need to convert the ship date into date data type. Okay. And then before converting it, whatever the steps I carried out in order date, you need to do the same thing. First, replace the iPhone by forward slash. And then uh, I need to click on the ABC and click on using locale. And select the date data type. And then you need to go here and select English United States. It will work. But if I do it now, it will not work because I did not replace the iPhone by forward slash. Now the question is, can I replace the forward slash by iPhone? Yes, that is also possible. But make sure that all the values in the ship date column should be in the same format. Either the month date year should get separated by forward slash or Hyphen, but you should not be mix of both. Got it? So, and what you do is reusing a replace, you can change it. And then you go here and, uh, you know, using locale, select uh, the data type as a date data type. And then you specify the country's type. So, locale, locale is specific to that specific country because here most of the time we'll be working in US, United States related projects, right? So, month, date, year, you select United States. This one will get converted to date data type. Look here, like this calendar thing you will. So what are the steps I carried out here? Same thing it would. Extract quarter, year, and day from ship day. That is an assignment for you all. Okay, fine. We could see some kind of, uh, you know, this is called your column profiling the valid error empty. The error, we don't see any zero here. Look here, you need to go and check. So how this one got enabled, if you go to view, and if you click on column quality and the column profile, so by default, it will be like this, okay? And it is always a best practice to click on column profile and column distribution and uh, column quality. Okay, distribution also, you can forget it at this moment. Okay, the column quality is very much important. So how many number of records or values in this column are valid? 19, empty is less than 1%, which means we have one blank record is there. If you see all these columns, the error, the column quality, right? So we can see that error is zero, but we have less than one empty percentage is there. So an empty record is there, okay? So remove empty, just keep the cursor somewhere here. But for this, you need to enable column quality. How do you enable it? Just click right next to this one. Okay, and then if you keep the cursor, you will find remove duplicates and uh, remove duplicates empty, right? So you need to keep the cursor here, you remove empty. You just see here one second.
you need to smartly bring the cursor here otherwise you'll see look here keep the cursor here and uh, you know what i do is yeah so if you keep it here right and then if you scroll down here you can see keep errors or simply click on remove empty it will remove the empty so there is a blank record was there in that data set because we could see that in all the columns empty is less than one person that means there was a blank record i removed a blank record also remove empty okay so you, you learnt about how to um, change the data type and how to change the format of your date columns and then how do you change the values in case any issue like in the sales column we found dollar how do we remove the dollar and after removing the dollar how do we convert this to number data type everything is in how do i remove a column supposing for my analytics this column is not required right click on it and remove it row id got removed so whatever the steps that you carry out for example i removed a column that is one of the steps so that each and every steps the order in which you carry out in same order it may you know it register it here so that later point in time if you for example if you click on this okay duplicated column order date column i duplicated is a order date copy you have the record here what are the change that you made it right fine with this you can track it applied steps the help of applied step you can track it sometimes what will in the applied steps be not be visible look here uh, in this view you have some query settings when i click on it the applied steps got disappeared so when you click on it one more time this is called toggling when you toggle when you once you it's it's, a, it's kind of on off switch when you click on it once it will get display when you click it one more time it will get uh, you know it will be hidden okay and don't click cross on the let it be there so query settings when you click on it so, so why should i you know why this option because your screen will be so wider you can see everything okay that is the reason why they kept it here and all these steps now what i am going to do is okay i removed a column here right uh, now the question is you removed a column by the name of row dot id okay so will this column get removed from my operating system file sys dot csv file no look here this is my operating system file sys w04 dot csv if i open it still that column will be there row dot id column will be there see row dot id it is not going to disturb the operating system file so now the question is uh how this trick works the moment you load the data from sales_w4.csv file into your power bi desktop it load the data into your power bi memory in your computer laptop memory it's all available in laptop memory only when you remove a column it get removed from your memory only not from the file okay you need to remember this thing and we have lot of options we will see to that little later and at this moment okay i did all kind of i applied all these steps next thing is file click on file close and apply you have three options apply close and close and apply don't click close if you click close all these steps will not get applied on this data set okay and if you apply what will happen is all these steps will get applied but this power query editor will not get closed in my case i want the power query editor should get closed and all these changes whatever i did it make it permanent so when i click on it the power query editor got closed look here loading data model it applies all the steps recreate the duplicate column extract the year everything right and all these changes it applies to my data model if you go to this one the model you can see the this thing so your model will be like this data model the table will be something like this and category city and uh, can you see row underscore id you cannot see if you want you can drag it 
resize it. Okay, you can just by keep the cursor at the edge of it, and you can move it like this. When you get something like this, look here. When you get something like this, then you are ready to resize it. Or you can simply you can resize it. When you get something like four arrow, then you are ready to move the table here and there. Okay, it is not moving. So look here. Can you see row under row dot id? You cannot see it here because we removed it. So the whatever the changes we carried out, what are the steps that we carried out as part of the Power BI desktop? It got applied to your model. That means that column row dot id got removed. Look here. The first column row dot id got removed. So the date, or uh, if you click on this one now, now in the data view, if you click on ship date, and uh, okay, it is okay here itself. We can see the date uh, calendar thing, right? Which means the date data type. Fine, and also you can verify it here. If you click on this order date, so and on the right side you will find something on properties, and you can find the date format is something like this. So by default it will be, it will get collapsed. In the data view, you need to click on this one and in order to get the properties. And if you select the specific column and the data type, you need to scroll down. Okay, so date data type and the format is something like this. We will discuss about the format and all later. Okay, don't worry. So this is my, and I'm going to uh, resize it a little bit. I don't want you know the table to be very big one like this little bit i'm going to increase it okay that's all and now if i do everything cleaning okay fine now i was able to load the comma separated value file successfully into my power bi desktop see in real time scenario you'll be working with um, uh, under uh, lakhs and lakhs together okay hundred thousand and above records you'll be working on it hence you need to have a lot of patience uh, and if you make a mistake uh, and if you reload it again, it will take another five to 10 minutes time. It will slow down your performance. Hence, you need to be very cautious, uh, right? That's why I would suggest you keep practice, practice by watching my video so that you will not make small, small mistakes in the real time scenario. Even in the case of real time development scenario, they will give you the complex assignment. They'll expect you to complete it in four days, five days time. The volume of the data will be very high. The number of tables, if you go and see it here, the number of tables will be 18 or 20 tables will be there. Pretty complex one. So you need to be very careful uh, you know, about the actions, whatever you carry out, especially when you do the data transformation, uh, do it correctly. If you, if you make a small mistake, you will end up redoing it again and again. It will take one full day time. Okay, guys, uh, we have seen how to load the Excel file, right? So next we will take a look at um, the another uh, XLS file. How do I load an XLS file? So click on Excel workbook. So you can see a lot of uh, connectors, so common data sources, right? You can click by clicking on Excel workbook, you should be able to import the Excel data into your Power BI desktop. Okay, now the question is, Okay, I have used the CSV file, comma separated file. I load the data in there. And if I save it, how do I save it? Click on file and click on save. It will ask you some uh, file name, ex demo. That's all, give some meaningful name. Press enter. Now you look here, the file name got stored as. So what is the extension of this report file? The extension of this report file is where I save, save as in Power BI main, right? So here in this folder, I go up here and date modify. So this is my file. What is the extension of this file? ex underscore demo underscore load data underscore this is the power bi file dot pbix power bi x okay dot pbix file so this is the extension the intro they'll ask you so uh, what is the extension of your power bi report file dot pbix remember this 
okay next question is where the data gets loaded now so data gets loaded as part of my power bi desktop file itself for example if i share this report to you okay the data will be available locally right so here itself you can find it here itself when you click on this you should be able to see the data here that means the data is available as part of your power bi file itself report file itself it is not good in stored somewhere else separately okay now the question is how do i see which folder see i have the sales underscore w04.csv file is available in multiple places in my laptop how do i see the uh, sales underscore w04.csv files folder click on transform data data source settings when you click on it Oh, okay. I have used sales underscore w zero four dot csv from this folder. Remember it. These are all these small small things, but you need to remember it. It is very much helpful. Fine. Next one is if you want to import an Excel file, click on the Excel workbook, and you can see the dot xlx files are available here. And what I am going to do is I'm going to select sales fact dot xlsx. all these files are available in that file you need to download it from my github so you need to dedicate initially at least one or two hours time to practice whatever i teach you so now the sales fact xlx files data preview window got loaded so in this excel file there are two sheets are there so i'm going to select this one and see what is there i'm going to select this one even here also the same thing is available i don't want to select both any one of them is sufficient i just select nc sales and then i just go and scroll toward the right side and left side okay everything is available and click on load look here actually the file name was sales fact dot xlsx but uh, the file name now which is nc sales because this is one of the sheets that was available as part of my sales fact dot xls files you need to rename this one how do i rename it double click on it here so you can give some meaningful name press enter i loaded one excel file and i am going to load another excel file to show you the relationship everything this is not xls x file that is xls okay let it be there click on open the product table got loaded now the excel x file but here also we can see the two sheets don't worry select only one product id category id product name cause everything is good click on load now the dim product excel file data gets loaded into my power bi desktop working on look here so dim product if i click on the uh, right arrow you can see all the columns Uh, that are part of this table i can see it here sales fact similarly here if i click on this all the columns that belong to my sales fact i can see it here and i am going to load one more file that's all i am not going to load any more files in dim category dot xls file and click on open i am going to select this sales underscore data so here the column names are not proper thing ideally it should be cat id and category there is some problem click on it that is my uh, yeah if i think this is my dim category dim category in the next section 
in so tomorrow before tomorrow you try all these things in your laptop now if i click on this model icon on the left side look here on the left side here when i click on this model icon i can see the sales fact dim product dim category table squad loaded here you can between these two tables you can see some kind of line here this is called your link nothing but relationship okay see now some problem with the category thing i just click on home tab home uh, ribbon go to transform data i'm going to do some kind of cleaning little bit i'm going to assign the proper look here dim category if you want to see the data of sales fact click on it on the right side you can see the sales fact dim product if you click on it the right side dim product dim category i need to you know fix some issues actually the row id is cat id and category this one supposed to be my column name so how do i convert the row id into column id so click on transform you will find some use first two as it is you need to click on this one so this one will get shifted here cat id category very good now we go and close and apply this one will get applied to the model look here already we are in the model tab so there will be a line get created between category and product shortly look here look here got created so if i keep the cursor if i hover the cursor on top of this line what two columns got highlighted in both the tables cat id and cat id on the right side cat id left side cat id got highlighted see here and if i hover the cursor here what two columns got highlighted product id in the left side product id on the right side so the dimension product table and sales fact table got uh, linked using the product id column because this is the common column between these two tables we don't see any other common column between these two tables similarly what are the common columns are there between these two cat id and cat id see if i keep the cursor here cat id and cat id these two columns are common between these two tables it automatically which one power bi desktop automatically identifies and creates the relationship between the tables the column names are same the column names are same which means you know these two columns are common and these two columns are common hence it creates a relationship automatically earlier it was we did not see this line right uh, because here instead of cat id column 1 column 2 was there okay because the row id uh, was not uh, assigned as a column id so we went to the power bi query editor we uh, you know we used that option to convert the row id into column id after that you know this table has a proper column name since this column has a proper name it was able to find out cat id and cat id both of them are matching hence it created the relationship this link is nothing but relationship got it so what i will do is i'll just save this file one more time and i will share it with you all so the assignment for you all is just go to the power query editor and convert the ship date column as a date data type and then you need to extract month date year quarter from the ship date okay month date year quarter and day also you extract that is the simple thing i want you to do it today okay and tomorrow i will continue the session same time 2 pm 2 to 3 30 so today i am going to wrap up little bit little earlier today we have seen how to load an excel file how to load a comma separated value file in real time scenario you will get variety of files you will have a mix of csv files excel file json file tomorrow we'll take a look at how to load a json file also okay you will get different types of files load all the files but irrespective of the type of the file power bi desktop consider all of them as a table look here and it consider them all see this um, this is excel file right all these three are excel file it consider them as a table only and then it created relationship based on the common column between the tables it was able to create the relationship but here uh, you know there is no relationship exists between because this is a different table and this is completely different so hence there are no relationship exists between this one and other tables okay
fine guys so uh, any questions so far we started uh, very slowly <clears throat> but uh, in real time scenario believe me or not when i joined as a developer uh, almost 11 years back they simply gave me a document that's all they did not do any explanation nothing with they asked me on top it's a very complex report in 5 days time you need to complete it that's all okay so you need to go through on the document understand everything fat fat in case of any issues from the customer side you can tell them hey there's some problem with the data you need to give me the correct data or can i go ahead with the data what you have given me already it has some issues can i go ahead if they say okay get a written confirmation and then go ahead and develop the reports without written confirmation don't do anything okay they will put the blame on us not only blame so whatever our understanding we will send it to them right so this is what my understanding based on the discussion we had so based on this i'm going to develop this assumption i'm going to develop the report in case the way the way you understood was not correct they will correct it immediately fine guys uh, thanks for all your patience i will share the script and the uh, the um youtube link also will share it youtube link also i will share it in the chat window if you want uh, okay anyhow i'll share it later okay and once the video should get uploaded it needs some time to load it once the video get uploaded we'll share the playlist for this batch you watch it and those of you think right i am completely new on to programming all the things i gave you the access to my website for example training in chennai info courses go to this site and uh, you just click on login use your username and password okay and once you log in here click on courses just go down instruct for full step power be instruct led course view more you scroll down you can see all the previous batch videos for example uh, connecting to csv files in power bi at right? which of the following so let's use connect to pre wired connections this is a quiz forget about this one and if you are a smart person go and try this one folder connector already covered for the previous batch and go and see how i you know what i discussed right how i stored it supposing you cannot join uh, tomorrow session let us assume that way because some family issues your grandpa or someone was is very sick and you need to take care of him what he will do In tomorrow session all the other people are attending this session except you i will not upload the video you need to watch this video right the same way you think and i want to to fast track it so first you click on the next folder connector how folder connector works i know try to fast track it if you are a smart person yeah, you can do it in a day or two everything okay even if you are a beginner new one to programming you can do it but this is the way you can fast track it okay see i'll tell you guys once you get into real time you know life is miserable okay i don't think i'm scaring you in the it industry is one of the ruthless industry they will not explain you everything no spoon feeding here okay if you are really lucky see one andra lady you know she joined a project recently and his team leader was really good he is helping her like anything but unfortunately that project was over and that guy got moved to some other project now she is all alone and other friends are not much they are they're not helping her much but whatever uh, the time uh, that he worked with him uh, she learned many things she noted down everything she recorded everything okay and each and everything is because of which she is able still we can also she is working because she doesn't have proper experience but she is her salary is amazing 11 lakhs she is getting it who else give right 11 lakhs is one second 